Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad this year I didn't go to Rockville 2017. And it wasn't because the bands were there I didn't want to see. There was only maybe a few bands that actually were somebody I wanted to see. It was because Rockville 2017 is in the end of April, early May, okay? It was like the 28th of April and 29th, Saturday and Sunday, here in Northeast Florida. It's hot and that's just a bad part when you're not from Florida, you don't understand this time of year the end of April and the rest of the year it's in the 90s okay it's been it was like 92 degrees here the other day with a heat index of 97 so it was really hot real humid and just muggy and not enjoyable to be outside and especially for someone as white as me you don't want to be outside because if you don't cake on that suntan lotion that sunscreen that sunblock you're gonna burn really bad so like I said, if you're from Northeast Florida and the South in general, you will definitely know what I'm talking about. But going to Rockville is a good experience. I definitely enjoyed going the uh, 2013, my first year, the 2014, and 2016, okay? I wanted to go to 2015 because I think 2015 had the best lineup that I've ever seen. It was all bands from, from Godsmack, Slipknot, um, a lot of bands that I grew up with, but I didn't have anybody to go with. And then I found out later, about a couple days later, everybody's like, how come you didn't go to the show? I'm like, because nobody uh, invited me. And when I asked people if they're going, they're like, I don't know. So I didn't get to go to the best uh, lineup they've had in years. But this year was Def Leppard, The Offspring, A Perfect Circle, and a few other bands, uh, Chevelle, Papa Roach. So there was a few bands that I would have uh, enjoyed seeing, but I didn't want to go on a very hot, humid day. It would be a great event if they do it indoors. I think being an indoor venue would be a lot better. I know it's harder to do a festival setup on an indoor Veterans Memorial Arena. I think you're very, you're gonna very limited seating with like 16,000 people. So you're gonna limit the people that can show up to this venue and show up to Rockville. And it's hard to have this because at Rockville Outdoors, you have, what is it, um, three stages full of bands. I think it's three or four stages, and certain times, one band is playing on the left stage, one band is playing on the south stage, and they're just, that's how they get the, uh, the concert going, and the concert done so quickly, because if you had, like, 20 bands gotta play an hour each, or half hour each, that's like 20 hours if they're doing, like, an hour set. So there's no way they could do that unless they had multiple different stages. But playing in an indoor uh, uh, arena wouldn't work either unless you just had like six or seven bands play. And I've been to an indoor, and I've been to an indoor arena, the Sacramento Arc Arena where the uh, Sacramento King plays, and I've seen three or four bands play at a specific time. And it was really fun, really exciting, and really enjoyable to see three bands in a indoor arena setting and indoors uh, are always going to have better acoustics better sound better overall quality because when you go to rockville sometimes the quality is so horrible because the bass is too thumping or the mics from the singers you can't hear but i definitely recommend if you've never been to rockville or any musical festival please go and please definitely enjoy your time because it is fun it is exciting and you will definitely have a great time so as always I'm Trevor, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Keep it metal, and keep it brutal. And I gotta go shave, because I'm getting all bummy.